Every year, the best teams from across the UK gather for the VEX Robotics UK National Championships. Students up to Year 13 compete over two days and demonstrate not only an understanding of STEM subject areas, but develop their soft skills, all of which are highly regarded by industry. Nothing else develops students outside of the classroom like collaborative, competitive robotics. VEX Robotics is a student-led engineering challenge that the students compete in every year. This year the game is called Tipping Point and the students have done really well to get this far. We are here for the Robotics Nationals and it's the most exciting opportunity for us yet because this is our first year in VEX Robotics and we think that we're really proud of ourselves for getting all this way. Every year the students uh, have a different engineering challenge that they must overcome and this might involve lifting things, moving things, shooting balls or it, this year it's a lot about lifting uh, mobile goals onto a platform and then trying to balance on that platform. So there's lots of engineering challenges that are involved in this year's game. When we all walked into the venue, I was like, oh my god, this is so much bigger than the regional final we did. This is this is, this is a thing now. The Reds have got four of the mobile goals on their side, and they're going for it's the blue the, one as well. the feeling of achieving something just on your own merits. You, you've designed it, you've built it all by yourself. It's, it's brilliant. VEX gives them the hands-on experience to, to actually achieve what they need to do. All well and good, reading out textbooks, and it's the practical side of things. Nothing better than actually seeing something work rather than looking at a textbook and going, oh, well, that's how it should work. To see youngsters showcasing their skills where they are using design, where they're using mechanical skills to build and design a robot from scratch. And seeing all these learners competing, it's a privilege. Getting the robots on the field now and the preloads in. By using the VEX Robotics platform, you build an understanding of how mechanical systems work and how to um, incorporate code and um, physical hardware into a final product. Three of us are programmers, so we've done programming before, but I think this puts it a bit like more in perspective of working with another team, like because we've been building and programming and testing. So instead of just programming, we've put it into use. So more like it's going to be an industry. In terms of like designing and the design process, like I didn't know even a quarter of the things that I know now about how to put things together, how to research, how to document things. They can analyse things, they can figure things out, they can talk to each other. It's important for them at a young age to develop these skill sets to make them better people for the future, regardless if they do STEM or not. With 55 seconds left on the clock, there's a big battle over this new The whole process of working together to create something new, that's just a set of skills which I don't think I would have acquired just in regular school. Those skills like, will get you a long way in life, I think. One of the big things we ask the students today is how they are managing their projects, how can they get a big team of people come together and create the robots today and that is a huge thing in industry. Without that communication, without working together you won't get anywhere within your projects and it's so important that you can talk to each other, you can relay ideas to each other, you can accept differences within your team and come together even after issues that arise. It's a very stressful environment, the industry, and. This is a very clear example of how you should manage your stress. <laughs> Throughout the course of the day, they're going to have good matches, they're going to have bad matches, There's go things are going to be up and down, their emotions are going to be all over the place, and they have to be able to regulate that. The life lessons that they learn from competing in VEX Robotics uh, is just fantastic. It's a really great programme. It's all about teamwork, so it's not just one robot, the best robot. If you can't work well as a team, you're not going to do well in the competition. Everyone in the community is so lovely and they're always willing to help, to lend you parts, to help you with your programming if it's going wrong. And I feel like I've found a lot of friends through Vax Robotics, um, including the people in our team. So it's really important for me just for the community and the friendships. It's great fun, you make great friends like some of the people I've made friends with in Vex are some people I would say are probably my best friends. We're all friends because of Vex. Yeah. Oh, you won! 157! They're leading it. They're organising it, they've done every single last scrap of everything they've done. It's an absolute life skill. And the failure. And you think about engineering itself and, and they have to fail. It's the only way that they're ever going to learn to be better and better themselves. We started from a very, very different design and over a course of nearly a year we've adapted and specialised our robot. This season they allowed us to use more pneumatics 
in addition to the motors that we already had on the robot. So they were very important this season, which we included in our front clamp and on our back clamp. Like something clicks and finally works when you're testing and everything. That is such a great feeling when you finally realise, like, it's working. I built this. I've made this. To anyone thinking of getting involved in STEM projects, I'd say go for it completely. We were a team of girls and girls are not usually expected to go for STEM, but we all are here and we've done it. And it's the most rewarding thing to do problem solving, to work as a team and to just like have fun. It's really interesting to seeing how different people solve the exact same problem. And I think that's a good, like, that's why we need to get girls into robotics because they all have amazing ideas that people might not give them credit for. And, and different viewpoints. Ideas, yeah, exactly. The more ideas we share, the better we can make the world. Absolutely. In school, you might make stuff and you might feel like, oh, what's this going to do? How's this going to help me? But this brought into perspective everything I've ever done in school, in DT, in science, and whatnot, it all came into play. And it's just been such a great experience. It's clear that when you really enjoy something and when you're really engaged in it, you're going to work hard at it. And by that hard work, you know, they learn a huge amount and it's a really fantastic uh, opportunity for the students. This is so close. It is, it is so close. I think. We're just getting the final count in. We need to develop people who are creative thinkers, who can overcome engineering challenges to face the challenges of the 21st century. And I think that uh, what Flex Robotics does is really creates an environment where students can do that, but also that's really enjoyable. VIX really sets us up well for the future and we can't wait to see what comes next for us uh, to be able to apply and use all these skills we've learned throughout the years. At the end of the day, whether you're first or you're last, I think everyone here is having fun, at least I think I speak for the whole team, that like it's one of the most fun things I've ever done. As an engineer myself, we were never given such opportunities, but we are preparing learners for the next stage of their career, for what the sector and the industry needs. And you have got potential engineers of the future in that space that are ready for recruitment now. If you're not getting involved with VEX Robotics or any other STEM activities, you're definitely missing out. And you should jump straight in and don't be afraid. Mm -hmm.